Raise your hand if well-being is a top priority for you in life. All right. Keep your hand up if you actually know how to improve it. Okay. For those of you with your hand still up, I have a question for you. How do you know what you're doing is making a positive impact on your well-being? And if so, how can you actually measure that? It makes a difference if you feel a difference, not just because some online article says so. If an online article told you to drink seven cups of green tea a day, and at the end of the day, you felt like vomiting, it's not really doing much for you, is it? Don't you get frustrated when every week there seems to be some new groundbreaking research that says the exact opposite of what you were told the week before? Dairy is good. No, dairy is bad. Red meat increases your risk of cancer and heart disease. No, red meat is essential for your optimal health. This confusion bothered me, so I asked myself, what if there was a well index, a holistic measure of wellness? This is it. It all started when I was talking to my dad. He said I should do something like go to sleep by 11 to maintain my circadian rhythms and that I would feel more well rested. And I said, well, as long as I get my eight hours of sleep, I feel well rested either way. So if I feel the same either way, What's to suggest who's right, other than a generic online article that might not apply to everyone? I wanted to know if any of this has a measurable impact on well-being. If he said, say, yoga is better, and I said, nah, running is better, which one makes more of a difference in the numbers, and ultimately, who would get the satisfaction of knowing they're right and those sweet bragging rights? Ancient wisdoms were based on the observation of our elders. Today, we live in an age of data, and we can leverage that data to turn these wisdoms we've always believed to be true into fact. For example, it's been believed for eons now that we should be awake during the day and asleep at night. But now, with technology like sleep trackers and wearables, we can see what works better for us we can see the proof that sleeping at night is helping us to achieve those rhythms, makes us feel more rested, and we can see the proof of those ancient wisdoms we've always believed. This watch I'm wearing has formed an image of me based on the data it's collected from my day-to-day -day activities. It can tell me if what I'm doing is working for me, and it can provide me insights on how to improve. My generation listens to this data in the same way older generations listen to what their elders told them. Neither approach is wrong, but in the age of technology we live in today, we can seamlessly merge these, and we can quantifiably see what effect certain practices are having on our well-being. This includes not only the body, but the mind and the soul too. And that's what Well Index is, a comprehensive, holistic measure of wellness. It will help us all in understanding what we each need to do for our optimum well-being. I realize that well-being is not purely physical, and that these other aspects are not being considered in current fitness applications. Physical health is really over-prioritized, and other critical aspects of health, like emotional or mental health, are often ignored. Wellness is a conscious, self-directed process of achieving your full potential. It is multidimensional and holistic and encompasses our lifestyle, environment, everything we do. If I was to ask you right now where you live, you might think I'm a bit creepy, but then after that, you're likely to give me your home address. But what we have to realize is that we live our lives, whether it be at school, whether it be at work or at home. We live in all these different environments and conditions, and we can't take any single one of them in isolation because that wouldn't be holistic well-being. Everything we do and everything we face on a day-to-day -day basis affects our well-being. Even the tiniest things we might not usually consider, like traffic on our way to work, 
but set us in a bad mood for the day, consequently lead to irritability or lack of ability to focus. And this comes from something we didn't even consider. Wellness is all these spheres, and where they overlap is where the well index lives. Right now, only small aspects of wellness are being gauged by existing fitness applications. These are things like my beats per minute or step count. This only scratches the surface of wellness, and we can improve this to create a holistic benchmark. Now, who here uses a fitness app like Nike Running, Health Kit, or has a wearable of any sort? Raise your hands. OK, so I'd say that's about half the audience. These applications, they nicely measure your physical exercise. They give you insights for improvement. They show you if what you're doing is working for you. And they have the potential to create something truly great. The data and technology and ability, it's all there in these apps. But something is missing. What if you had the opportunity to create a holistic benchmark, to compare the options and personalizing them for you in order to achieve your best well-being, not purely physical? You might ask, why don't you have that already? Well, because tracking different specific factors between different platforms is a hard task. S-Health, your favorite application, might have something HealthKit doesn't, and vice versa. As such, combining these onto a holistic platform, sorry, a platform with a holistic measurement seems to be the best solution. Taking tangible raw data and intangible influences that both affect our well-being and combining them together into a single measurement that presents an indication of how well you are seems to be the best way forward. How could something like this help society? An index like this could use hundreds of variables in order to fully personalize the conditions you face in your daily lifestyle. If a generic measure like this index is integrated into communities like workplaces or schools, they can be more mindful and more actively engaged in the well-being of their students or employees. And they can see how they compare to other institutions. And so a web of society connected through wellness starts to form. The index could consider something as simple as your workplace environment. Where do you work? Do you have regular rostered work breaks? Do you have a workplace that encourages you to achieve work-life balance? All that kind of flexibility. Before, when someone asked, how well is your school or workplace? It was a difficult question to answer. But now, by considering these specific factors and combining them into a measurement, we can be more specific and give an answer. This will make it easier to plan improvements over a long term we know will make a difference. For individuals, the index would provide a comprehensive calculation of your wellness as a score out of 100. For example, 82 out of 100 could be your personal score. Based on how thoroughly you can realize what factors come into play to affect your well-being, the more accurate this score will be in reflecting you. This will empower you to take control and improve yourself through the things you can see about yourself. Imagine a world where you had an index you could see changing based on the things you do. How can we achieve a quantifiable measure of holistic well-being? How can we create a connected ecosystem of communities, individuals, workplaces, and provide data to empower everyone into creating a society that is more well. Here's how. We can come up with a single platform for the integration of our existing technologies. We can work together to provide the most holistic measure possible for the community. Right now, the global cost of healthcare is crippling the economy while also being quite inaccessible to some. 
Lifestyle diseases are on the rise as people make choices that harm their well-being. In part, this is because people don't have the data or awareness of what to do that will work best for them. They don't have this to empower them. Better health for everyone can be achieved to some extent through an easier, holistic measurement. Through this, we can create a better society. We can create a healthier society, a proactive society, and ultimately, a happier society. And that's the society I want to live in. It's in our hands now. We have the data, we have the technology, and we have the ability. What we need now is to work together to make it happen. Thank you.